I'm gonna continue uh, with the uh, theme boosters. I took my time uh, with the white one and the blue one, and then made a whole video of that. And I'm gonna try to squeeze these three in this the video. Black, the black, red, and green ones. Yeah. So this would all actually make. If you took these three together, you'd make a good junk deck, uh, mostly. Uh, so let me go through these and let's see if I can squeeze it into one video. But if I don't, then I'll probably leave the green one for a third video. Let's hope not, because I don't like to spam uh, YouTube with uh, too many videos. Okay, so each one of these, uh, if you saw the previous video, these are all in my uh, Ravnica 3 playlist, has one of these cards. The turn, beautiful, well done as always. As I mentioned in the first video, the quality of the cardboard is fantastic. These cards look great. Uh, they're very well printed. They may be uh, printed in Japan. And uh, yep, and so let's go through them. Okay, so Vraska is a 4-5. Uh, so if nobody attacks it, you get to use the negative 2 twice. And you create, oh, I love this, create a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with death touch. And whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. That's great. It reminds me of the Vraska from uh, Return to Ravnica, if I remember correctly, which I pulled on a road trip, the first copy of it that I have. And that one created three 1-1 one, one black assassin creature tokens, but... They said whenever it hits your player, you lose the game, your opponent. So that, that was a lot more deadly than these, but that's okay. Love the artwork. Yeah, I really love the artwork. Beautiful card. Okay, so then we have another Planeswalker. Uh, we have Davriel, and he's a three drop, three, negative one. So you can actually use it three times and it dies, and but you can cost your opponent to discard a card three times. Um, I don't know. I will put this in a deck where I would actually dig this dude out of the graveyard after using it three times and just keep doing that. That's what I would do. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, this dude hits it for two. So yeah, this is a uh, black discard deck's uh, best friend. Yeah, definitely. Okay, then another Ashiok, which I already talked about in the previous video, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to show the card. You can uh, stop the video if you want to look at it. Okay. I'm going a little... F I'm going to try to go a little faster in this video than the last one. So I can finish the three colors in one. Uh, a mass. I want to build an amass deck. And it's a 3-1-1. One, one. And zombie tokens you have... You control have death touch. That's really, really nice. Enchant creature, creature or uh, planeswalker. When the, the permanent dies or is put into exile, you return it to the battlefield. So it saves it from dying, uh, but this goes away only once. You only do it once, that's fine. Sack a creature for th or planeswalker for three, you get one life. Draw a card, eh, that's a little weak. Uh, more amass critters, it's a two drop, so I would probably put it in the deck even though it's not like a, a super card. Uh, I really like this card. I was reading it earlier this morning. Remove up to five counters from target artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. That's really nice. I I, I don't have to look through the old magic cards to see if there's anything comparable to this card issued to date. I'm not sure. I doubt it. Uh, cannot be blocked by big critters as a bear. That's not bad. Yep. So get a creature or planeswalker from your graveyard, yeah. So these, these dudes are friends. Th these guys are BFFs. Yeah, you play this guy three times, goes in, the, in, the, in your graveyard, get this, reco recover it at sorcery speed, and then you keep doing it again. You keep doing it multiple times. And yeah, this cardboard feels great, man. I love the way the quality has been upped uh, in the recent sets. Really love that. A flyer, limited flyer. You can give it haste if you boost it. The uh, your limited land, or just cheapo mm -hmm. land. Big limited critter. Liliana causing other people to sack. Yeah, because it's each opponent. I'm sure it's much better with more opponents. Heavy casting battle cruiser stuff. 
I've never been able to use one of these heavy casting uh, clauses. Battle trick. Cross dressing mania. Um, yeah, target creature card from your graveyard. Not bad, but a five. Boy, that's heavy. Draw a card, lose one life. Yeah, this is more like a limited critter. Menace on a 1 1 1. That's great. This is a fantastic card. This is a really good good card. Sack it only for three. Uh, sack, oh, sack another creature or planeswalkers and put two counters on this dude. Uh, I like that a lot. Like that a lot, especially if you have a way to recover whatever you sacked from the graveyard. Okay, so you can destroy target creature or planeswalker and pay more and copy it. A little bit like the uh, journey into next cards where you could do it multiple times. Uh, Life link for limited. You'd have to boost it to get more out of it. It's only a 1-5. Nice golem with menace. To put counters, that's not bad. Soren's Thirst. Reminds me of a card from Scars of Miradam Blog, and I forget what it was called, or M12, I forget. Yeah, Soren's something, but it wasn't Thirst. Maybe it was. Maybe this is the reprint from that card. I don't remember. I'm old. Okay, right. so I am, I am. When Guild Globe enters the battlefield, draw a card that can be bad. Two, tap it, add two. Yeah, little mana rock thingy. We already talked about this card and that. So it's a repeat cycle. Uh, I want to build on a mass deck. Good stuff. Um, yeah, battle trick. A mass. Pay three if you do. Return target creature. Yeah, nice. Repeatable. You, you sack stuff. And then you bring it back. Eternal Taskmaker. Very well named. And a 2-2-3. Two, two, That's a great uncommon, man. That is a great card. Uh, love the artwork on this card. Definitely. Very cool artwork. The finisher. Um, destroy target creature or planeswalker or opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Great. Because no matter how strong it is, you could have just pinked it and then boom, with this you kill it. Nice. Uh, more amass. So these are the two. Oh, great. I really wanted this card, man. And I love the, the Devotion. I would put this in a modern Devotion to Black deck. This is kind of like a Future Sight, but in black. Uh, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. It's legendary. Future Sight is not. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to... Yeah, so you got to do something. Fine, it's going to cost you life. But yeah, play with the top card of your library and you can cast one of those spells just make sure you don't have any 10 tens that you're gonna pay 10 life for or maybe put it in our lifelink deck where you it won't matter uh, sacrifice 10 non-land permanents each opponent loses 10 life uh, you'd have to be in tokens maybe yeah lifelink vampire token deck yeah I can see that I can see that okay these pools are pretty good so I'm done with black uh, I'm doing a lot of talky talk, so I think I think I'm just gonna do the red one in this video, and then I'll do the green one in a third video. I think that's the pace at which I'm going. So I take my time, you know. So yeah, this this set is not what I needed for my cube, and that's why I'm not going crazy for it. Uh, but I think it is a really cool set. I think it's gonna take time. Uh, for me to understand how it plays because it is not I think the guild structure simplifies things uh, it, I mean a lot of those decks kind of build themselves it, this is not the case for this set which actually is a good challenge uh, I like the planeswalker per pack trick even though it just means that we have a lot of cards that are not so strong uh, these planeswalkers a lot of them are just they're kind of like Eh, weak enchantments, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this set very slowly, but surely Okay, deals three damage to target creature scry one Not bad. It's a two drop T-Bolt 
your opponents can't gain life. That's not bad. Again, the five loyalty for a minus two, you get to use it twice if nobody attacks this dude. Uh, again, these, these uh, planeswalkers look really fickle with the fact that they don't have a plus. But you, you can use prol prol proliferate tricks on some colors. I, I'm not sure you can do it in red. Unless you do a red, blue, green deck. Yeah, something like that. T-Bolt. Uh, it's probably going to be better than the original T-Bolt. Of course, the worst planeswalker ever. Which I always try to make a deck with uh, as more flashback uh, cards come out. Because then you can sack randomly with T-Bolt from Avacyn Restored. And then you get your graveyard cards are good. So it's always a challenge. Okay, so Nahiri. Four drop, six minus X. You deal X damage to target tapped creature. That's good. That's that's pretty good. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control have first strike and equip abilities. You activate cost one less to activate. Nice. Now here is always a good uh, equip uh, equipment uh, deck. White red equipment deck. Okay, little mana rock, a little heavy on the three drop. Still useful and limited, I'm sure. Discard a card, draw two cards, amass one. Yeah, you're playing with your graveyard, so this will be a red-black amass deck. For Chandra, deals five damage if you control a Chandra, otherwise three. That's not bad. And the damage is to creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. Nice. Minotaurs, love me Minotaurs. Yeah. Nice. One damage to target creature, it cannot block, and you draw a card. Ah, eh, it's a little weak. Another one of these uh, life gain planeswalker lands. Cast a non creature spell, put a counter. Three to two, that's not bad for a common. Five damage to target player or planeswalker. So this is kind of like a more constrained lava axe, something like that. I think lava axe is similar in casting cost and what it does. Love this artwork, by the way. Very cool. Very cool. Um, enters the battlefield, deals its damage. Target creature opponent controls. Yep, blue, red instance and sorcery deck. Nice. 542. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't fly, it doesn't protect itself, but still, I'd do something with it. Battle trick plus two, plus one, is cry one. Target spell costs three less to cast if you control a big critter. No, this spell. Okay, got it. So one drop if you got a big critter. Yeah, okay. Nice, uh, nice trickery. Big ogre with reach. A mass, a common. Maybe for a limited a mass deck. Another a mass. I, this time on un uncommon. I gotta try these cards out. I don't really know how they're gonna play out. Just make it a mass deck and see what happens. Hellion or Hellion. Hellion. Yeah. Sack, get counters. Blue, black, red, black is what I would put that in. Battle trick. Love this artwork, by the way. Very cool. Very well done. Yeah, till end of turn. So the effect is only till end of turn. Two damage. Yeah. This almost sounds like a reprint from old cards. I could be wrong. Okay, so we already talked about this. So this is the, set, the repeat cycle. So they put in a, more than one of the same card. Allows me to finish my video on time. Yeah, and then... Uh, oh, I, I didn't see two rares, just one rare in the back. Oh well, that's fine. So Sarkhan, we'll finish with Sarkhan. 5-5, five, five. it's got a plus one, that's very important. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. Again, this is one thing that I'm noticing with this set, that they're either going to have a lot of dragons in Corset 2020, 
or this card can be used in modern casual because it's not even a strong planeswalker but you I don't think we have enough dragons I mean if this card had been issued and say the course that after the concept arc hero block was done that's just my opinion I mean it's still a fun cool card uh, each planeswalker you control becomes a 4-4 red dragon creature and gains flying that's really nice and then minus three creating a 4-4 flyer nothing to laugh about and I'm gonna stop right there and do the green one in a separate video didn't think I would do that but I I've been the video. I just beat the zombie awesome